start our opening song is number 311, Table of Plenty, 311. Good morning. Our opening song is number 311, Table of Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Today is to be observed annually as the World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation which, quote, will offer individual believers and communities a fitting opportunity to reaffirm their personal vocation, to be stewards of creation, to thank God for the wonderful handiwork which he has entrusted to our care, and to implore his help for the protection of creation, as well as his pardon for the sins committed against the world in which we live. It was declared by Pope Francis on August 6, 2015. So as we gather this day, we come to um, acknowledge that our readings of the gospel is about uh, the beginning of Jesus' ministry in um, the gospel of Luke and where uh, he is at the city of Capernaum, and he begins to heal. But they do not see him as we see him, as uh, the divine savior. They see him as a prophet, um, going to be equal to Moses of the Old Testament, because it is declared in Deuteronomy, um, actually in um, Exodus, that... Um, there will one who, one who will follow Moses and be a great prophet like himself. Our first reading um, from uh, St. Paul has the relationship between the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the life in which we live in a daily way, which is um, described as flesh. So the Spirit and flesh. And the flesh always in Paul is the great destructiveness of, of evil and sin in our lives. So as we begin, let us call to mind our sinfulness as we ask the Lord for his mercy. Lord, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you place your spirit within us that we may live for the kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. 
Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit within. Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not by words taught by human wisdom, but by words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now, a natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness and he cannot understand it because it is pledged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him, but to have the mind of Christ, the word of the Lord? The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger of, and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all, who, all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways making known to men you might, your might and your glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are failing and rises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, Why have you, pardon me, what have you to do with us, 
Jesus of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, <coughs> come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. It is really important for us to pay attention to the world in which we live. We are a part of nature, and nature is not to serve us as we might say as a servant would serve the master. No, we find ourselves as persons who truly need to care for the world that does keep us alive. One of the most startling statements um, that I have heard that has really caused me to reflect was that we cannot live without the world around us, nature. And yet nature can live without us. It will prosper. Forests will continue on. And yet what have we done to the Amazon? Crops will continue to grow. And what have we done with herbicides and other chemicals that have attempted to destroy bugs and yet we found ourselves destroying nature around us? How much do we not consider one another as children of God? that have the Holy Spirit within us. Because if we did, would we have the riots and the destructiveness that is occurring in the United States, in a place that we consider blessed of God, to have the Holy Spirit alive within us, in persons and communities, not just in the four walls of a church? We are God's creation, God's life. And so in Jesus, and we need to see him in this context as the prophet here in our gospel reading, he is confronting that whole world of evil that not only is around us, but is within us. We are making the decisions to destroy. And so it is no wonder that the prophets of our own day are inviting us to pray the rosary. To pray that power of God's prayer that has been given to us to request true loving care for us as communities, us as persons, us in the activities that we do. Do we not want a peaceful world? Do we not want a peaceful election? Do we not want peaceful communities that support one another in the basic needs, not only of our physical life, but also of our spiritual life. So we come to the table in prayerfulness, in community life, as Deacon Jeff wrote in our, um, in our um, bulletin this past Sunday, may we truly care for one another to the power of Christ living in us, expressing it in who we are and in all that we do. Stand. May we place our intentions before the Lord our God as we pray. We pray for our ability to 
really care for one another and for our creation around us, that we may have life as our Lord would have us, we pray to the Lord. May we come to understand the responsibility we have in living out our lives in relationship to one another and the world around us, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who have COVID-19, for those um, who are spreading it and do not know that they are doing it, that uh, we truly may live with a sense of healing and care for one another, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those in our school systems that they may find ways to be safe and healthy. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those um, without jobs, without prospects of really supporting their families, that others may come to their need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of the struggling businesses um, who worry about their own livelihood as well as continuing to provide for the needs of others through their business. We pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died, especially for Linda Verheden. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our lives into your hands. Allow us to be graceful persons of your creation who care for self and one another as we live as your community we ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, that in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just, 
as through your beloved Son, Jesus, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate this memorial of the saving passion of your Son Jesus, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose consent and intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all of the priests and deacons, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. 
through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Desiring to grow in the spiritual life of Christ as his church, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Um, let us pray for our seminarians of our diocese. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray for a vocation to priesthood, religious life, and diaconate. From Prince of Peace Parish, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray the prayer of St. Joseph together. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raised Jesus the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Three eleven. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money. Come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty.